was a lawyer, I was a judge, I also had four stepchildren, two of my own children, I wrote three books, I've run three television shows, it wasn't all about Lynn needs this and Lynn needs that because I Professional bodybuilder Anthony saw Rena on the treadmill. He knew she was the woman for him. But after three years of marriage, Rena says the one thing that brought them together has ripped them apart. Let's just say that on Tuesdays, it's a leg day or a back day, and he needs to get that bigger. My birthday could come, his mother's funeral could come, and he'll, that will have to wait because Anthony will have to do back. has brought down this marriage. And he grabbed the chicken and he threw it and it landed right on my forehead. I'm 5'9", 270 pounds. What am I doing with one chicken and one um, bread? I don't mean to yell at you, I'm sorry. Today on Divorce Court. Come to order. Court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Lynn Kohler presiding. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here with Anthony Campany and Rena Fuentes Salazar. The two of you have been married for three years, but you do not want to be married anymore. You do have a financial issue you would like me to resolve, but before we get to that, I would like to know a little bit about your marriage and why we're here today. So, Mr. Campany, I will start with you. What, what's going on here? Your Honor, I'm a, I'm a professional bodybuilder. Um, what I do is very important to me, and it takes care of my lifestyle, and I don't think Rena uh, appreciates it anymore. Um, I think that she takes it for granted and she doesn't think that what I do is, is good enough. She doesn't think what you do is good enough. Now, when you say professional bodybuilder, do you, do you compete? Yes, yes, Your Honor, I do compete. Um, I've been competing for the past uh, six years. I just became a professional bodybuilder um, a year and a half ago. Uh -huh. um, there's been some situations, some incidents where um, Rena doesn't really appreciate what I do because um, it's like, when I work, I go to the gym and yeah. I work out. You know, there's people that go to the gym for recreational purposes, and that's great to keep healthy. When I go to the gym, the clock starts for me to work out. That's business. So it's business. So every hour or two hours I spend in the gym, it's about getting me at the best point of, of um, in, in better shape. Mm -hmm. So I would train and train at the best of my ability. So when I met Rena, I met her in the gym four years ago, and it was great because then maybe I'm, I'm with someone that would understood, understand what I'm going through and that working out wouldn't be a problem. And I thought that would be the perfect, we would be the perfect item. What, what, what ended up happening? Well, we had some differences along the way. I mean, there was, uh, for example, eating food. I spend $200 a week on food. Um, so a lot just of for you alone? Just my food alone. I mean, including what her. What do you eat? I eat um, red meat, I eat chicken, I eat fish. I eat pounds of it a day. I eat every meal, I eat at least 10, 11 ounces of meat. No meal, kidding. Eight, six times, six to seven times a day. Now, Ms. Fuentes Salazar, you met him in the gym. Yes, I did. You knew he was a bodybuilder. Yes, I did. At some point, did that become a problem for you? Yes, it did. Why did it become a problem? Because he, I still have to be a wife. He wants a cheerleader. Does he not participate in the marriage like a husband? I mean, is, is it bodybuilding, then family? Is that what you're saying? See how he just said he spends $200 on his food? Right. He forgets that I don't compete. Right. And neither does his eight-year-old son. So he'll go and he'll buy himself a whole cow. And I'll go and I'll just go to the groceries and I'll buy myself some a carton of milk for his son, brand fooders or whatever, kids' mm -hmm. cookies, juice. And this is one time, okay? And, you know, I'm also... Hispanic, so I speak a different language. I said, oh, you know, the frankfurters, I don't know if you, I know you don't eat pork, so I don't, I'm not sure what the frankfurters is. So he went in the fridge and he grabbed the frankfurter and he said, oh, it's beef. So how do you not understand that? This one, he's getting ready for a show. So I said, well, you know, sometimes in Spanish, I don't translate, translate as quick. Exactly this happens maybe, way. let's just say it'll happen one time a month, but it really ha has happened maybe like six times a year. Anthony will go off and he'll say, oh, you know why? No, 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 don't give me no excuse. We've been in this country way too long, but I, my first language was Spanish. Then I learned English. 
So he'll say, no, 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 don't give me that. That's not, that's no excuse. Yo, how, like many, be, how many languages do you speak? I speak one, but she doesn't like to be corrected. That's the thing is, I only speak one, but the thing is. Wait, 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 wait a minute. Hang on, hang on, hang on. When you say she doesn't like to be corrected, what do you correct her about? No, her, the way she speaks. She got to speak with understanding. So when I speak to her and she says something that's wrong, I know it's wrong. Judge then, I'll say to her, on, then I'll say to her, Karina, listen to what you're saying. I let her repeat herself. And then when she repeats herself, she'll be like, but you know what I mean. No, I don't know what you mean. I need to hear what you mean. Say what you mean and mean what you say. And then when her son does the same thing, she lets, she lets it be. She makes it okay. That's okay. It's not okay. You got to understand what you're saying. So she doesn't forget. She just doesn't want to use the word. She just wants to go on to the next story. It doesn't work like that. You know? Ms. Fuentes Salazar, what do you have to say about that? No, it's not. It's the well, way I, he says it mm -hmm. around that time. Right. Then he'll start saying, oh, don't give me no excuses. What are you, stupid? What are you, ignorant? And then he'll go off, and then he'll just, like, I'll just forget about it. I'll just walk away, and then I'll come back, and I'll go use the bathroom, and then I hear Antonio saying, da -da -da -da, you know, this woman is so dumb, like mumbling to himself and just saying all these things. And I don't think it has to go that it, far. It's, it's, it's not that big a deal. Yes, and he's making it a huge, yes, huge issue definitely. when it was a small error. When divorce court continues, is Anthony's temper a prime reason for divorce? Do, do you throw things? I throw some stuff. What is that song? Is the ink on your marriage license barely dry, but you're already ready to call it quits? Seven seven three one one twenty two twenty two, or visit our website at divorcecourt.com or become a fan at facebook.com slash divorcecourt. Divorce Court is back with the case of Anthony O'Shaughnessy, who wants to divorce his wife of three years because he says she doesn't support his bodybuilding career. You know what your problem is, Mr. Champagne? Here's your problem. Let's just say that on Tuesdays, it's a leg day or a back day, and he needs to get that bigger. My birthday could come. His mother's funeral could come. And he, that will have to wait, because Antonio has to do back or leg, <laughs> OK? Yes, yes, uh, Our yes, first year of marriage. No, it's, it's, it's that we, important. We didn't go anywhere. And because I got mad, I was, you know, I was mad. I was, when I'm mad, I just shut down. Mm -hmm. And I just cry. That was a big problem, too, because before he used to tell me, oh, you're such a little girl. Grow up. Oh, 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 your little tears. Like, oh, that don't do nothing to me. Stop crying. It doesn't solve any problems. Do, but do, do, do you say that, Mr. Champagne? <laughs> my mom, my dad always tells me crying doesn't, <laughs> crying doesn't solve anything. Like, you can cry about so a situation. Guess what happens? The situation is still there. L let me ask you this, Mr. Champagne. Do you ever think that you come off as aggressive and that and that it might be a little off-putting to her, and that instead of, you know, going nuclear about some ketchup or something, she'd rather just not say anything? Okay, Your Honor. Definitely. Do you understand? Okay, I there's agree with four you months out oh, of the year. Oh, I know Hello, what's going on, on in your house. There's four months out of the year where I have to be dedicated to working out. Where mm -hmm. you, you just said a comment about being, you know, aggressive about ketchup. Even that may start an issue. Yes, you want me to tell you why? Um, Let's say, I say I'm on my way home. I say, Rena, can you make me something? She'll say, OK, I'm going to make it for you. One day she says, what do you want? It was my cheat day. Um, you want Chinese or pizza? I said, all right, well, four years. Four years, and she doesn't know my favorite. But OK, fine, Chinese. I come home, two hours to get home. Takes me two hours to get home. I'm the only person working in the household. I'm the only one pay paying all the bills. I come home, and I look in the refrigerator, no food. I look in the microwave, no food. Then I woke her up and said, Rena, what happened to the food? What food? So the food that you said, if I got, you want a Chinese or pizza? Oh, I didn't, I didn't want, I didn't think that, I wasn't going to buy you Chinese food. I just want to know what you like. Four years and you don't know what the hell I like? When we eat every Friday, we eat Chinese food to the point that she says to me, um, uh, why can't we eat something different besides Chinese food? Ms. Fuentes Salazar, do you want to uh, respond to that? Yes, I do. So that day, what I had was, he, I, I told him, I also told him, what do you want to eat? And he's like, oh, just, 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 he was working. So he said, just get whatever you, you get. But I just got him one piece of chicken. He grabbed, he said, no, 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 seriously, where's the food? And I said, over there, in the kitchen. He's and like, no, no. And it wasn't enough. He, yes. Well, so he said, do you see my size? He said, do you see my size? What am I doing with one chicken and one um, bread? I don't mean to yell at you. I'm sorry. So he, so I'm sorry. That, he didn't I, I think about, 
I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. So he didn't think about that, that, you know, I was being nice enough to even bring him food. And he grabbed the chicken and he threw it and it landed right on my forehead. It had, I had a red mark did, on my did, 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 did you, do you have anger and it was issues? Hang chicken, on, do you have anger issues breath. and do you throw stuff? I've thrown some stuff. What does that solve? You said tears don't solve anything. What does a throwing solve? But talking don't solve either. Like no, I, just, no, just, what does the throwing solve? It don't solve anything, but I'm trying to, if I speak to her, it's like, I'm irritated. I'm, he <laughs> don't said, speak, he yells. You know, you know what your problem yells, is, Mr. Spit. Champagne? Here's your problem. You think about yourself to the exclusion of all else. You are obsessed with your body. It's what you do for a living. I get that. But to the extent that she doesn't do exactly what you want, the way you want it, and you don't have everything just how it should be all of the time, it is, is tantamount to treason. And you're so self-involved that you can't be a member of a family. But that's what bodybuilding is about. Hey, listen, part, hey, let me tell part, you what I, hey, 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 let me tell you something. I was a lawyer, I was a judge, I ran for a judge in your municipal judgeship, I was 33 years old, that was my job. I also had four stepchildren, two of my own children, I wrote three books, I've run three television shows, I've written television shows, I've written screenplays, this is my job, this is what I do for my living. But I'm not all about me, 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 me. When I went five hours to write a book in the morning, my husband still got loved and cared for when I got up out of that chair. And I didn't have, it wasn't all about Lynn needs this and Lynn needs that because <laughs> I'm a judge and I'm on TV. If you say one more thing about your body, I'm gonna scream. It's just too much. <laughs> when divorce court continues, will Rena's claws reach for revenge? She knows I'm allergic to animals. I said, what's that? Oh, we got a kitten. We? We have a kitten. She said, yeah, we have a kitten. I said, we, but I'm allergic to cats. Do you think Antonio should put his family before his bodybuilding? Call 1-800-282-1991 to vote now and see if America agrees with your opinion. You'll also receive some valuable offers. If you would like your case heard on Divorce Court, call us toll-free at 1-877-311-2222 or log on to our website at divorcecourt.com and follow us on Twitter at Divorce Court. Divorce Court returns with the case of Rena Fuentes Salazar, who is divorcing her husband of three years because she says he puts his bodybuilding career before his family. But does he? We go out to all the places she wants to eat, I buy the clothes, I would go to a shopping store and I said, Tina, buy whatever you want. I said, buy whatever you want. What do you do for her? I do, that's the thing, I do stuff for her. This, oh, there was, yes. No, no, no. No, hang on, let him finish. Let I just yelled at him, let okay. him finish. Let me tell you, let me tell you. When she's like, she wants to go out, I said, okay, where do you want to go? She wants to go out eat? No problem. We'll go eat. I took a fat burner just to keep me awake. It was at 9 o'clock at night, just to keep me awake because I was tired. Mm -hmm. I said, okay, I took a fat burner. She's like, where do you want to eat? She want to go to the diner. Okay, we can go to the diner. She said, no, I want to go to the movies. Okay, fine, let's go to the movie. We can, that's even better. We sit down and we watch a movie together. Then she turned around and says, well, you know what? I want to go out with my friends. Oh, really? You're going to go out with your friends after you? I just took the fat burner? Oh, no, the two of us are going to stay up awake in the house by ourselves because she wants to go out now with our friends after I took that fat burn when I should have been sleeping no I did that I did that for you so I could spend time with you when it's now you want to talk about the off season time when I'm not doing anything we go out to all the places she wants to eat I buy her clothes I would go to a shopping store and I said Rena that's buy whatever you want I said buy whatever you want I said Rena what do you want I know one of the good things about her is she doesn't buy a lot of stuff but I think the husband's job to make sure she looks nice. If she wants to buy, she wants to get things to look nice, I think a woman should look nice. I get so it, I, I do, get it, I, I get it. Stop, her stop, stop. I'm, I'm you tired? Miss Fuentes Salazar, what do you have to say about all this? I mean, he bought me a jacket, he, years ago, that cost him 300, I, maybe 300, maybe $400, I'm not, I'm not sure. This was years ago. To this day, when I bring something up, he'll say, oh, I don't do nothing for you, I bought you a, $300 leather jacket. <laughs> to this day, every single time he'll bring it up. If we have an argument once a month, he'll bring that up once a month. Yes. No, he wants a parade. Every time, yes. every time he does the, something that's not exactly for ago. him, he looks for a parade. <coughs> because you think life is about he has you. No. Yes, Mr. Champagne, I want to be, let me tell you what I want. I what do you be. want? I want someone to show me appreciation. 
You know what I'm saying? I want to be appreciative. I want no, no, don't buy. I want you to be appreciative of me. When she lived in the house, I paid all the bills, right? All I want to do is show me appreciation. She well, had a cash. How, what, what kind of appreciation would you like to be okay, shown? Okay, she had a when she when I first met Nina, mm -hmm. she had a friend that had a cat there, and the cat lived there with him. Okay, I can't do nothing about it because the cat was there before me. The fine the friend finally moved out, took the cat with him. I was relieved. I went over there. She knows I'm allergic to animals. So I go over there. After a month later, Rena buy, um, takes a picture and sends it to me. I'm at work. She says, I said, what's that? Oh, we got a kitten. We? We have a kitten. She says, yeah, we have a kitten. I said, Rena, but I'm allergic to cats. I had a cat when I met him. My son, he lived with me, so he wanted a pet. I promised him a pet. You Not can't buy a cat if your man is allergic to cats. You but just he, can't he, do it. It was, it was my place. He used to come in and out. When the voice call continues, what is Judge Lynn keeping tabs on? She mispronounced that word in front of my son. Damn! She wanted sex when I wanted to go to sleep. Damn! Do you think Antonio should put his family before his bodybuilding? Call 1-800-282-1991 to vote now. And see if America agrees with your opinion. You'll also receive some valuable offers. Divorce Court returns with the case of Anthony O'Champany and Rina Fuente Salazar, who are seeking a divorce after three years of marriage. You want $1,400 for lost wages. Why don't you explain that to me? Okay. She got evicted from the first place that she, she we were living in. I, you know, stopped competing and... I decided to train as much people as possible, and I have a lot of clients, so I made enough money to put in the house. We're in the house, I'm the only one paying the bills, and one day I'm, I come home from work, I'm tired, I'm sleeping, she decides she wants to have sex. So I'm not in the mood, but she kept going at it, fighting, arguing, to two, three o'clock in the morning. I said, Rena, I have to get up at seven o'clock, I, I gotta get up at five o'clock to be at work at seven o'clock to meet this guy that's gonna give me $1,400 for personal training. I woke up at 7 a.m., the time I was supposed to be at the gym. Sexy. So I woke, up, I, I woke up, I said, Rena, you know I miss my clients? She woke up, she looked dazed and confused. You know what she said to me? What you want me to do? What do you want me to do? Say said, sorry. Say? I'm the only one paying and, the rent. And, and, and I bet you if she said sorry, it wouldn't have been enough. But Mr. No, Mr. Mr. Fuentes, no, I did, was, uh, I did, but I didn't say sorry the way Three days later. Now, hey, three days later. What, what clock? Were you fighting all night long with him or what? No, what we weren't, but we could have an argument, let's say Monday, he'll stay angry until Wednesday, days, for days. Yeah. And I feel that life is too short yeah. to be angry, so I don't get angry for that she long. She kept I me awake. <laughs> We're all done. We're all done. <laughs> Mr. Champagne, you're an error hoarder. What? You're an error hoarder. <laughs> Anybody ever does anything wrong in your airspace and you feel like somehow slighted or insulted or wronged, you... That's one on her chalkboard, and it never goes away. <laughs> and then she does something again the next year that was wrong. Bam! Another error. And you <laughs> hoard those, and you look at them. And every time she does something else, you put another little one on the board. Now, nothing ever comes off. And two years will go by. You nothing ever that. comes off, year after year after year. And you start feeling burdened by all those errors she made, because you never let them go. And Everything is about you, and to the extent you don't get exactly what you want, that becomes an error as well. She mispronounced that word in front of my son. Bam! <laughs> she wanted sex when I wanted to go to sleep. <laughs> Bam! <laughs> but who's paying the bills? No, you know what? You know what? I pay the bills in my house, but I don't hoard my husband's errors. He makes mistakes and I let him go. And I don't hang it over his head. I treat him like a man because I love him. And he's a person and he's an individual and he makes mistakes and it's not all about me. When you marry somebody, it's about them too and it's not just about you. You're a selfish person and you're an error hoarder and, you, and you'll never be happy because there are no perfect people in this world and if they were, they wouldn't marry you. There will be no recovery in this matter. It is so ordered. All right. Party family in the corner. After leaving.